Hey, what's going on? This is Wayne with Tri-County Locksmith Service, and today I'm going to talk about um, just a little over a year with the Ariat Workhog H2O. Uh, so I did an unboxing review of this. You can look up my channel or just type in Ariat Workhog H2O review, and my name, Wayne Winton, and it'll come up. Uh, so this is what the boot looks like. Uh, I posted the video Jan or I'm sorry, August of 2016. And it's now November 2017, so a year and a couple months. Um, and this is what we're looking at. I have dyed the boot black. I didn't like the brown color. Uh, it just didn't go with the, the stuff that I was wearing, and it just looked a little weird. So uh, I dyed them black. Uh, that doesn't have any effect on anything. These were oiled at least three to four times, so the leather stayed pretty well intact. The biggest thing that disappointed me about these uh, was the fact that I spent the extra money to have the waterproof membrane in these and so my feet stay dry. I'm in the snow, I'm in the mud, I'm, you know, I want my feet dry. Really, really particular. I always buy the extra, spend the extra money to get that Gore-Tex similar wicking away waterproof uh, lining. Three months later, these things would already leak. So not super impressed with that. Um, as far as the leather holding up, I mean, you can see there's no cracks or or anything like that. Um, the sole is pretty wore down, so uh, heading into winter time, these are just not safe to wear anymore. Uh, is basically the the uh, thought process behind that. You can see the heel is pretty worn down. So about a year, and then the he the the sole is going to be um, pretty much done. <clears throat> At least for me, uh, walking around in snow and ice on this is not going to work at all. So uh, I'm retiring these. These will probably just be a old junky, you know, mud boot or whatever. Um, <clears throat> just something to wear when I don't want to wear my other ones. Uh, I wouldn't recommend buying them. Sorry, but uh, I just, they were pretty comfortable. Uh, they did not wear out in the back like Danner did back in here. Uh, the Danners did last a lot longer than these. Um, and then you can see the sole cracking right in here. So uh, that's that's pretty much going to be that. Uh, I just wouldn't really recommend them. You know, if all you want to do is get one year out of them um, and maybe a little bit more, then okay. But, uh, you know, I didn't wear these for a couple, probably the real hot months over the summer. Uh, they were just a little bit too warm, especially being black. But for the most part, they were on my feet almost every day. Uh, a couple real hot days in the summer, didn't really wear them, but uh, other than that, this was worn every day for probably a year. If you add it all up and you count the extra months from now, from August to November, and then you take off the days that we didn't wear them um, in the summertime, you're still just over a year. Uh, and that's what you're gonna be looking at. That's what they look like. Um, leather's still good, but sole and uh, stitching and stuff, and they leak. Can't wear leaky boots can't wear slick boots. So that's going to be the review on these. Uh, if you have different work environment, they were comfortable uh, and they do slide on, on and off nice and easy. So uh, you think about that and you do what you're going to do with it. Uh, the next one, don't ask me why, but I did buy another pair of Ariots. And well, I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, number one is the darker leather look. Uh, the darker leather just goes better with what I'm wearing, jeans and you know, uh, dress pants or something like that. This is going to fit in a lot better. And this is all you're going to see from here down. And it just looks a little more professional to me. When I go to grab a boot, I'm going to squeeze here and I'm going to squeeze here. And I did the same on these. I want to have a nice cushy bit right in here and here. So these ones, I don't think they actually offer in the waterproof version. They don't offer the waterproof lining. So you're not paying for that extra. But we'll see how these ones hold up too. These are the vent tech, so it's got basically some venting in here to make this a lot cooler boot. So I will do another review on these uh, whenever they whenever they wear out. So for more information, check out the website below. Take a second to thank our sponsors. We've got Wayne's Lock Shop. If it's, if you're a locksmith, check it out. It's video online training for locksmiths. This is in the field as real deal as it gets. Toronto Webworks, they do all of my advertising and web stuff and they can build you a great website, torontowebworks.com. Uh, sponsor also HL Flake, all your locksmith supplies, go to hlflake.com and Framen Key Machines. Check out Framen Key Machines at framen.com. Thanks for watching.